Hi guys, Matt here. I'm just putting together a quick video in regards to your social media position and I'm going to give you some uh, recommendations that I've got for you and your page and also um, what you can expect when you come on board with me. Now just to introduce myself, hi, this is me, Matt, nice to meet you. And now you've got a face to put to the name. Okay, so now on with the uh, recommendations. Cool, so loving the website, the only recommendation I have for the home page is that this slides across very quickly and so do these. I'd suggest maybe just slowing it down a tiny bit so people have um, the chance to read exactly what's going on in the little slidey boxes um, in the in the left hand side here. Um, this is all great seeing you know the login buttons up the top. Um, the, the header seems to be a bit below. I'm not sure if this is just me or I'm guessing it would be other people as well. I mean I'm using Chrome um, so yeah this header might be uh, broken. Um, but yeah, something to something to check out. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but I'd move it up. Um, the other thing is, you have to scroll down to see the social buttons. If you want people to come across um, to your social pages, then I'd suggest um, moving them up the top here. Um, if that's one of your goals, otherwise, you know, most people they typically just want the social pages to direct traffic to their site. Okay, so now moving across to uh, the Facebook page. One thing I'd recommend is, I notice with all of your pages, they've got this um, this grass theme going on. Now, I know it's tranquil and pretty and stuff, but something that I think would work a lot better is, you know, having social proof. You know, like the, the amount of lives saved, I think something like this would work so much better. Um, and you can have calls to actions and things like that. Um, because at the moment, this doesn't really say anything about health or what your business does. So, um, use this wisely. Uh, the other thing is, you don't have a link in your short description, I would just say add a little link here um, because you're missing out on clicks and tell people to click there. Okay. Um, when we come across to the, the more info page, this is good. Um, I'd also chuck in you know, some, some awards or also seen in and in that spot you can put in like all of your um, social proof like seen in New York Times and seen in CBS and NBC and all that kind of stuff. Um, cool. Now, as far as the posts that you're doing, it's great to see that you've got nice, bright, colorful photos. But one thing I'm noticing is you've got six, six and a half thousand likes, more or less, but only a hundred people talking about it and really not many people engaging in the, in the posts. So what I suggest is that you start telling people to engage. So start telling people, like this post, you know. Uh, share this post, comment on this post, what are your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. Um, and adding faces, if you add faces with the, the, like this kind of thing, with the big smiley face, that kind of thing works a lot better. Um, and yeah, you, you'll see you'll get more engagement when you add smiley faces. Um, but yes, the other thing is, um, for example, here, you've got some great information here. But then what you should put underneath is like, um, for more handy tips, read our blog, or for more handy tips, sign up at HealthTap. And then just have a long link to HealthTap, sign up, and send them here. Because the amount of people that would come and click across to your site just from posts, because remember most people aren't coming and seeing your actual page, they're just seeing it in the newsfeed, um, or from an ad or anything like that. Typically I'd say, you know, add um, into the link, so heart surgeon, blah, blah, blah. Happy birthday, Dr. Dr. Cooley. With this one, it's not very relevant to add a click here to sign up, but you know, something like this. Uh, happy birthday, John. And then, you know, see all the doctors that we have um, on board at HealthTap and then the link, you know, click here. And just make sure you tell them to click here because so many people won't click across unless you actually tell them to. Um, so this is good, you know, read our doctor's tips on how to make that a reality, Bam. You know, things like this but do more of it. And also if you space it out so you have the call to action like two lines down, people will be able to separate the message from the call to action uh, and you'll see a high click through right there. Cool, so as far as Google Plus, um, again, it's it's looking like you've got a ton of plus ones um, and followers and stuff, but the engagement is very low. And so again, what this suggests to me, same with Twitter, is you know, you've got 20,000 followers, but you know, when we come in here and we look at all the replies and stuff from people, there's just not a whole lot. You know, one, two, three, 
you know and this is this is what I'm saying and I see this a lot with clients basically in the past they've gone ahead and they've paid for you know 5,000 likes 10,000 likes um, you know that kind of thing and now it's actually doing them damage because um, Facebook and Google Plus and all that kind of stuff see them as having a ton of followers and a ton of likes and they're constantly posting content but no one is engaging with it you know like plus seven this is good this is good plus five but for the amount of um, you know plus ones you have on the page and uh, followers etc you should really be getting you know plus 20 plus 50 plus 100 plus a couple of hundred because there's just a disconnect between how much engagement there is and um, you know the quality of content that you're posting because this stuff's great it's nice and visual um, and there's plenty of stuff going on you've got links and hashtags and all that kind of stuff but yeah again it's um, really I'd say you know you should you should really just check this out if you've got fake followers maybe see if you can remove them um, because it's just ruining your edge rank and other um, ranking factors so that's something to be very aware of also when I came across here into um, members um, I noticed that either nothing loads up or is ex or is extremely slow um, same with for doctors so um, I find this a lot with the static HTML tabs which is, uh, is what I'm guessing you're using or it's just broken um, but yeah something to be aware of I just remove these because they're not working um, cool the other thing is um, hashtagging it's good to see that you're hashtagging like motivation health fitness things like that but um, the other thing you want to think about when hashtagging is SEO because when you hashtag in Google Plus um, it quickly gets up there on, on the first page of Google um, on you know on particular search terms so uh, especially people who are logged into to Google into Google services um, and they're in searching in Google then yeah typically your hashtags show up um, a lot more on the first page cool um, so yeah Twitter it's good to see that you're posting often but really not often enough I typically suggest a minimum of six posts a day um, and I'm more than happy to go through that with you and also maybe you can ah, there we go it's finally loaded up and this is what I'm talking about it's super slow um, so what I'd say is you know um, if you have yeah you've got a SSL certificate so what I'd suggest is just entering this having this page um, in here and you know forgetting about this custom thing because it's super super slow um, yeah so that's that's kinda what I'd suggest is you know I can build you another tab that will load up quickly and you won't have any issues um, but yeah that's that's what I'd suggest um, okay now just to give you an idea of some competitions and things that I've I've done in the past um, and some results that I've gotten like 118 percent more likes in just six days and these are real by the way they're not paid kind of things or another 200 email addresses added to your database in a week um, these are the kinds of results that I typically get for my clients and so here's a copy of um, one of my clients where he's gotten twenty twenty thousand four hundred dollars in revenue in the last month just from um, SEO and uh, social services as well as the email uh, the email blast as well um, but yeah just to give you an idea of of the Facebook competitions and tabs here's some of the stuff that I'd recommend you know like for you guys it could be um, win it could be something like win um, you know health insurance for the next six months you know if you meet our criteria or whatever like that and you can build the the list that way um, so that way basically people will be entering their emails to try and win this health insurance or trying to win whatever health benefits something to do with health and doctors and stuff um, and you'll build will build your list that way and I pay for all your ads and do all that sort of stuff and build these tabs so you don't have to worry about it um, here's some more tab designs that I've done uh, give us a thumbs up for a free bow tie and now something that you're not going to see with others is over on the right hand side is an in newsfeed sign up form so basically people click the enter here to win, they click the link and up pops a little box saying you know enter your email to do whatever to win the um, free health checkup to win whatever whatever it is health insurance and again we build the list this way um, some more opt-in pages that I build um, I also speak Spanish by the way that's why this one's in Spanish um, but yeah video opt-in pages where people you know um, they see the main message um, and they see you know the the call to action and they enter the email address and now this page is actually getting 17 to 22 percent opt-in rates so 
Um, the pages that I build are actually very high converting, and um, yeah, well, you'll have that at your disposal as well. Um, okay, YouTube marketing. I think YouTube for you guys could be massive, um, especially if you could interview some doctors. Now, what you have to do is make sure all your YouTube videos are optimized and that you um, uploading content every week so even if you just do a batch of like 10 videos every three months or something like that that's typically fine um, but yeah you really need to make sure you optimize the descriptions and tags and headings and transcripts and annotations so people can actually click across in your videos um, and um, and jump over to your site straight from the video so here's a client that's just come on board with me um, and as you'll see, they've got custom thumbnails, everything's all customized, all the links uh, and descriptions are all um, written out nice and nice and tidily, and there's calls to actions and free, free books, and uh, the cover image is actually like a banner ad telling them to do the main call to action. And this is the kind of stuff that I suggest for you guys, which is like, sign up for free now. Um, also, you'll see at the end of this video, um, click here to subscribe, so people can actually literally just click right inside the video to subscribe to um, your channel and also click here to download social plans and we can take them off to whatever site and get them to do whatever it is that we want them to do. And in this case, I want you to click the download social plans at the end and you can download all the resources that I use um, to plan my client's videos, uh, to plan my client's social, sorry. Um, the other thing with Pinterest, so I've, I saw that you were very active in Pinterest and that's great. Um, and it looks like Pinterest is one of the ones you're, um, you're doing, you know, properly without too much paid stuff going on. Um, again, the, the proportion to likes and followers is a bit skewed, um, so it kind of suggests that, you know, maybe there's something a bit fishy here, but typically, typically people don't like things as much as they repin things. Um, now just to, for example, come in here and, and look at some of your boards, it's great to see that you're the one that's posting all the content, because so many people just repin and then they they uh, for example let's let's go here yeah Pinterest you're doing great you're posting all your own original content and so when we come across here and click on the site it should take us across to your your Pinterest page yep perfect and this is the kind of stuff that that I'd suggest um, with your Facebook and Google Plus as well is adding just albums you know we can add a whole album like you've got a Pinterest board, for example, let's go, let's go back here to eyes, ears, and nose. Okay, so you could add just an album of eyes, ears, and nose, right? And you'll find that people tend to share um, and engage more with an album with 10 or more photos. So instead of just posting one photo, you could post a whole album, you know, maybe once a week and promote that post. And that's the kind of stuff that I get great results with um, in that regard. But Pinterest, you're doing well, so we'll just continue um, down the Pinterest path that you're doing. And I really don't have too many recommendations because you, you seem to be doing this really well. That's, that's great to see. Um, the only thing that you could do is, you know, optimize a bit more um, for SEO um, just by putting in, you know, um, some, some more uh, hashtags with, with, your, with your calls to actions and things like that. But for the most part, you're doing pretty well. Um, okay, so yeah, that's, that's enough on Pinterest. You're doing great. Um, cool. So here's an example of the 12-week plan, basically where I write, a, write out exactly what I'm, topic I'm going to be talking about, um, ex the exact post I'll be writing, what type of post it is, and the URL I'm going to be posting. And then I go ahead and measure every single post, um, how many people are reaching, how many people are talking about it, liking it, commenting it, sharing, all that kind of stuff, how many people are clicking, etc. And basically what I do is I add value every single week and every second week we run a promo for a competition for XYZ or you know your products or your services or um, anything that's going to help you monetize your site. That's what we do every second week, so we're just not selling every single day. And um, yeah, that's that's typically what you can expect. So just to show you a client page at the moment that's going really well, um, facebook.com forward slash airbrush action. Cool. So. Um, Basically, these guys are a worldwide company, uh, just like you guys, and typically we, we've got, yeah, 83,000, 1,051 talking about it, and yeah, again, as you can see, we're uploading albums, and people typically tend to engage more in an album um, than just a link or, or a um, single image, right? So 
What I suggest is adding albums all the time. Whenever you can, just add albums. Fill it up with photos because people love to click on it, jump through, scroll through a few photos, and then they go ahead and share. Um, even if they only like one photo, they'll go ahead and share the whole album. And I find that this works really, really well. So as you can see, 252 like this, 26 shares, um, 300,000 seeing it. So this kind of stuff is, you know, really what you guys should be aiming for. Um, and obviously with nice visual content and that's what you guys have got so um, yeah basically we just need to tweak what you're doing and just um, you know pump it up a little bit with ads and and go ahead from there because you know you're doing the right thing but there's just a few little things that you're missing that you could definitely be doing better um, so again just to show you like you know we'd love to hear your feedback blah 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 this uh, will be our biggest issue in three years and then we've got a link you know, and it doesn't even have to, you know, click here, with the link, and we, we space it all out. And this is really important because, you know, people will come and like and do all this kind of stuff, but then they don't go across to your site, and that's the main purpose of social media, yeah? Cool. So, um, jumping back, look, if you want results like this and similar ones that I just showed you in the Airbrush Action page, um, here's what you need to do. Number one, like this video if it helped you out. Uh, two, click the link below now, use the form to email me, and three, watch me grow your business for you. Be quick, be inspired, take action. This is Matt. I'm already enjoying working with you. Thank you so much for your time. Chat soon.